Welcome to our second video, our second YouTube, and Anne is registering the photograph with the uh, paper. So when she finishes with that, we'll be back. Okay, the picture is taped down, everything's ready to go. Everything is registered. The first thing you need to do is to measure the original photograph and we did that and it's four and a half inches. Take two, make two lines on your duplicate sheet and with a pencil or this pen make a line where you want the top of the image and the bottom of the image okay and then you measure the distance between those two lines And what do you get? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. All righty. Write that down someplace. Okay. Then take your calculator. Divide the big number, eight and a half, by the small number, four and a half. And that will give you your rough reference fraction, your ratio. Okay, 1.88, okay, that's roughly 175, or in this case, we'll use 2. So 2 on, two on the, the different scales, and they both have to be exactly the same on both sides of the pantograph. and then you're ready to go so she'll start drawing that and again she traces it around and there's no reason to completely trace it so we'll cut the image here and go to the final sheet, the final painting that she created from the first YouTube. Okay, here's the original image, the original hummingbird. And I'll scroll up. This is the final image, the final painting as a result of the original pantograph copy. The proportions are perfect. The shapes, lines, everything are all in registration with the original photograph. Thank you for watching our second YouTube and we had many requests to explain further how to set up the pantograph and the mechanics behind it. I hope we did a good job. Thank you for watching. This is the Twins production. We will catch you on the next YouTube. Thank you very much.